Hello everyone, this is Becca from Willow Hill Designs and I thought I would just come on quickly and share that I'm adding um, a couple of extra pages to my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Um, they would be after the June page. Uh, because of the way that my book is set up, um, the, the signatures that I chose are kind of like a little book. They're just, uh, they're four pages. So it's front and then the two in the middle and then the back for a signature. And so after May's block, um, there is another signature here. And so June would go here, and then I will have um, a blank page, another blank, and one more. So three pages left to fill this last signature. I don't, I don't think I could cut this off because I have to be able to stitch it to the spine, to the back. And um, so June will go here, and I thought... Um, I know what I'd like to put as for the other pages in this book. Um, recently, I lost my brother uh, to a, a tragic accident, and um, I would love to pay tribute to him by putting a page in remembrance of him in this book. Um, my brother was an, a supreme artist, really. He um, he would he drew beautiful sketches. He painted in oils and acrylics, and he um, built furniture out of um, tree limbs, branches, trunks, and did wood other woodworking. Built other furniture and cabinets, and um, was just really an artist at heart, a nature lover. And um, he had many journals over the years, and he would write snippets of um, whatever he saw while he was out on his hikes. He was an active hiker, and um, he wrote beautiful little snippets in his journals of nature. They were just so, they're so nice to read. So I had thought, um, what would I put on a page to remember him? So I thought... I'll put his page here, and this is what, I'll just take these off. I had started to compose some elements that I thought would be nice, that would remind me of him. Uh, this is this is the drawing that I came up with, and this is not my original drawing. This is something that I found on the internet, and um, I, it just made me think of him. It seemed like a place that he would really love. Uh, there's a little cabin in the woods, and surrounded by pines, and a little bridge here uh, with a stream running under the bridge. And the fabrics that I used here, I just wanted to keep it very neutral so that um, the design would show up. And I used batiks. This is a batik in the background, just a very plain muted batik with some um, shadings of sort of a green and beige in there. And uh, this is just a, a Bella solid. It's um, an ivory solid. And this is a grunge fabric that has some gray uh, brush strokes in it and some sort of taupe colored brush strokes. And so I just put those together to sort of um, add some interest to the page. And I was thinking that I would do just straight embroidery on this page, um, just outline stitching with either black um, DMC because he did have a lot of drawings that are done in India ink, and that 
would make me think of him, but I also thought of a deep hunter green, which he loved that color. That was one of his favorite colors, hunter green. I think it represented the earth to him. And so I thought I may uh, do all of the outline embroidery with this hunter green. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe I will add some fabric elements to the page. So in my stash, I had some things and I thought maybe a little house, a little cottage or cabin. He had plans drawn up for a cabin actually that he was going to have built and I thought I would honor that. And so I thought maybe a little cabin here. On the hill, I thought that might be nice. And then I cut out some fabric pines and thought maybe if, if I just placed a few here and there that that would um, just add some interest, I thought, rather than just the straight stitching like a sketch, I would add a few elements of fabric which might look like paint, painted elements. Um, not a lot, just a few here or there. This is really all that I was thinking of was some trees and the cabin and um, it would look like this. Let me just make sure that I have it all in the frame. And then I would, of course, stitch the bridge, which is a stone bridge, and um, stitch in the stream and outline these trees. And I might add some mountains in the background as well. I think that he would like that. Uh, so that I would do to pay tribute to my brother. And because he had so many volumes of journals over the years, I thought that it would be nice to include him in my journal. Um, he loved this. He thought this journal was pretty cool. So um, I thought I will definitely put him in there. It'll be a nice uh, reminder when I look through this journal. And um, because June will be here, I was thinking, well, I'll put something here on with because of this signature having four pages. So I thought on this page, I will put um, a poem and it's called September by Helen Hunt Jackson. Jackson, And um, it's a poem that my mother learned in first grade and she could recite it right up till she was almost 98 by heart. And it had several verses to it. And um, so my brother, my mother's birthday was in September. And uh, so my brother and I, beginning in September, would email each other and um, we would type the first line of the poem. Uh, the corn, is, the the golden rod is yellow, and we would send a photo. I we would take turns, and I would send a photo to him, and then, you know, he would do the next line. The corn is turning brown, and he'd send a photo of corn, and and we would go that way through the poem, remembering her, and her birth month, and we did this every September. So I thought I would love to put that poem there because uh, there's definitely a connection and I would, I would like that. Um, I think that would be fitting for him. And then on this last page here of this signature, I thought that I would put a little writing of his, which um, was a little, um, I would call it a snippet. It wasn't so much a poem but it, it was titled The Bittersweet Vine. 
and um, I thought I would put that back here and that would complete everything. And oddly enough, um, he will be in the signature for June and his birthday was in June. So I thought that would be, again, perfect for him. Um, so that's, I, that is my idea to finish out the pages in this particular book um, because I think that three signatures in this book is enough um, once I fill out the rest of this last signature with June and then the other pages. Um, I think it'll be thick enough. I don't want the book to be too thick and not close without, you know, having to force it closed. So I think that'll be perfect. And then the new prompts that come in st beginning in July, which are the Christmas prompts, uh, I will start a new book and I'll put them all in that book, in the Christmas book. Uh, so I just wanted to pay a little tribute to him um, on these. If you had said this to me a couple of months ago, I would have never dreamed that I'd be adding. I wondered how I would fill out this book um, after June and never dreaming that I would be putting a page in for my brother. But um, because he was such a special person, I would like to do this. And these stitchery journals are so nice in that when we look back through them, we think of where we were when we were stitching a certain page or what we were doing or what was going on in our lives at that time. And um, stitching has a way of uh, comforting us and soothing our soul, whether we're happy and we just sit down and are stitching happily or whether we're grieving and feeling sad. Um, stitching has that same comfort. And uh, so this, this is new to me, this slow stitching, this art of slow stitching, and um, I'm happy for this journey that I'm taking. And this is part of that journey, uh, this page for my brother. So I, I just thought that I would share that that will be my extra page in my Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Well, I hope that um, wherever you are, that you're enjoying your stitching and that you're enjoying this, uh, this beautiful spring so far. And thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye for now.